Welcome to the Tennessee State Museum, where you will find great exhibitions on art, history, and culture. I'm Lois riggins Zell, the Executive Director of the Museum, and my staff and I want to welcome you to the museum, where you might find a greater understanding of the history and culture of the great state of Tennessee. The museum begins by taking the visitor back some 12,000 years into the ancient past of Tennessee, a world very much different from what Tennesseans know today, a world dominated by the American Macedon who once roamed the hills and valleys of our state. Along with the Macedon was the Paleo-Indian roaming throughout our state of Tennessee. Here at the museum, we have exhibited some of the oldest known man-made artifacts ever recovered from our state. Clovis points, ancient stone tools made by the Ice Age hunter. Here at our museum, we have one of the best Civil War collections in the nation. We have over 500 artifacts on permanent display, ranging from items related to individual battles, like the Battle of Franklin to the Battle of Shiloh, as well as artillery and weapons actually used by these soldiers on the battlefield, even items related to their personal stories of these men. Not to mention, we have one of the best Tennessee Civil War flag collections in the nation. Here we have one of our most well-known artifacts in our collection, an Egyptian mummy. You may wonder, how did we acquire such an amazing artifact? In 1859, Jeremiah George Harris, a Tennessean in the Merchant Marines, was traveling through Cairo, Egypt. He acquired the mummy and brought it back to us and donated it to the State Historical Society. And for a short time, it was on display at the State Capitol. Eventually, it made its way to our Tennessee State Museum, where it's located today. Here in the New South exhibits, we focus on artifacts related to the Tennessee Centennial Exposition, celebrated here in Nashville in 1897, as well as art and artifacts related to political reform movements taking place here in the nation, from the Prohibitionist Movement to the Women's Suffrage Movement. We actually have the pens used by Tennessee to sign the certificate stating that we ratified the amendment which would give women the right to vote here in the United States. One of the most popular exhibits at the Tennessee State Museum is the Frontier Era. Here we have some of the most engaging artifacts in the entire museum. We have an original Conestoga wagon. This was used by t Tennessee families to traverse the Appalachian Mountains to arrive here in Middle Tennessee. We also have a dugout canoe made by Native Americans over 250 years ago. This is one of only two dugout canoes remaining in the state. Visitors will also see a replica log cabin, in which they can learn about how Tennessee families survived on the frontier. One of the greatest things about the Tennessee State Museum is that it is the home of the Tennessee legends. Names like Andrew Jackson, Daniel Boone, James K. Polk, Davy Crockett, and Sam Houston. Visitors will get to see some of the most significant artifacts related to these icons of American history. Andrew Jackson's inaugural top hat, and a check that was issued by the Republic of Texas to the family of David Crockett upon his death at the Alamo. Our painting gallery features several portraits and landscapes of Tennessee and some of its earlier inhabitants. One of our more notable portrait artists here is Washington B. Cooper. He's known as the man of a thousand portraits and in the 1800s was commissioned by the Tennessee State Historical Society to paint a series of pictures of former governors for the state of Tennessee. Here at the Tennessee State Museum, we have one of the largest collections of Tennessee quilts and textiles on display in the state. They do range from dates of prior to the American Civil War to the present, and we do continually change them out in order for them to all be displayed here in the museum. 